What up, Doke Hunters? We have a Global Dokon Producers Letter video. So let's check this out here. Uh, I have not seen this yet. It is five minutes long, so we're just going to watch it. And I will be reading the subtitles as they happen. It's all in Japanese, so there's obviously no point to hear the audio. But if there's anything that we need, I will hello, raise the volume. Hello, 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 hello. I'm the main producer of Dokon, Omatsu. Today, we'll share updated info on the 10th anniversary schedule we announced in the October producer's letter, oh? as well as the latest in-game info for December. Finally, we'll go over the schedule, including the newly added features. In addition to the changes to the legendary summon introduced before, We've added Link Skill Orbs, which can raise this level of links. You know. Notice how it says to be determined for the uh, full synchro. We still don't know yet. And a system that allows you to get rewards based on the level that the pixel character of the pixel character in my profile has been raised during the event period. With full synchro global JP operation in mind, we'd like to introduce some info on future updates. Let's start with an update relating to your power level, which can be checked from the My Profile. Yes. The power level bonus. Let's go. You can get various bonuses based on your power level. Increased amount of Zenny, increased drop rates for Awakening Medals, updated, updated the points of certain factors that will determine your power level. Yes. Thank you. The number of times you can play certain limited... Oh! You can... It affects the number of times you can play limited attempt events? We're preparing bonuses that will improve your gameplay experience, like an increase in the drops. Or a number of times you can play... Wow! That is crazy. Everybody has to power level grind now. That is nuts. So the higher your power level, the more bonuses you can use. Also, following the implementation of this feature, the points of certain focus that will determine your power level will be updated. More details coming next February. Okay. So before Saiyan Day, we'll learn more details. We plan to continue adding new content and features to make Dokkan even more enjoyable. One of these adjustments will be the discontinuation of Chain Battle after its 39th opening. Yes. So this is the, uh, the big news. April 2024 will be the final... April 2024 will be the final Chain Battle for Global. Which means that's exactly as I predicted in my earlier 2024 preview video, where we will be getting the Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Harutagarn in April. So this is exactly what I mentioned in that, that other video. I said Global gets Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Harutagarn Dokkan Festival in the April time slot. That's exactly what they're implying here. The first chain battle was held in 2020. Man, almost four years of this. Operation team convened to discuss the feedback we've received since then. As a result, we decided to discontinue. I still think trying to do things to fix it or improve it would have been better, but that could still be what they're going to be doing. Focus on more updates to regular events as well as new content we are planning to create for people to enjoy even more. Even though Chain Battle will end with 39, its rewards, including popular skill orbs, will still be available through other content. That is good. At least uh, we have the conservation of matter. Our goal, not only for next July 9th anniversary, but for our 10th milestone and beyond. Oh, that just confirmed nine-year anniversary is not joint. That just confirmed it. Nine-year anniversary is not joint. Not only for next July's 9th anniversary, but also for our 10th anniversary milestone and beyond is to make Dokkan better than ever. We are also working on the preparations for the unification of JP and Global. Stay tuned for further announcements. Alright, so nothing in that regard. 
That's all for the progress on our schedule up to the 10th anniversary. Next, the latest info on the upcoming in-game content. Trunks! Let's see it. Oh, they're talking about... Hey, they're talking about the holiday stuff. Okay. Holiday festivities will start on the 24th. It will mark the first time that Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who debuted in November, will return. By logging into the game and completing all special missions during the campaign period, you can get a total of 20 tickets. That is two more than JP. JP got 18. Lots more various Dokkan events will be available. Grab this chance to collect Awakening Medals and power up the characters on your team. That's what wraps up today's announcement. Our plans for the future aren't over yet, so stay tuned for more. Bye-bye. Okay, so they do talk about... So I, I know every time they, they talk about this sort of thing, they always mention like up to the 10th anniversary, but they did say the 10th anniversary and beyond. So... I don't think this really needs to be stated, but yeah, don't worry, Dokkan's... I don't think there's any cause for concern regarding Dokkan ending at 10. That's just what they've immediately got planned, but look at that. Also for our 10th year milestone and beyond. So, if you're gonna, if you're gonna look at it at face value based on the words that he uses, keep that in mind as well. Alright, so in terms of what they've announced here, it's basically the same stuff as JP, but there are a few key things that we need to point out on the global side when it comes to this. And uh, let's just go through those real quick. All right, so the three major things that I want to point out, apparently this one was already shown on the JP side, which I wasn't aware of. The power level bonus will also include bonus times one can attempt limited events. Based on the quick little synopsis that we got from the Goresh translations, I don't believe that it mentioned this, um, but I wanted to point this out anyway. So if this was already shown on the JP one, my apologies. But for me, this is a big deal because limited attempt events getting more attempts is pretty crazy right so i think this means that there's going to be a major cultural shift coming to dokkan when it comes to the power level grind but thankfully don't panic because i know some people are going to be concerned oh does this mean i have to power level like in terms of my links that is not going to be the case because they are making this more of an emphasis they realize people need to increase their power level the only way to really do that and make a significant impact would be to grind those links but that is a bit ridiculous. So they are probably going to be changing the way that they determine how the link or how the power level is calculated. Probably not by removing how much it already gives for links, but I think they're probably just going to increase the amount that you get for the other things so that it's basically weighted the same. So like if a link level 10 is worth a thousand points, then rainbowing a unit should be worth a thousand points or completing 10 stages should be worth a thousand points or something like that. They'll probably do whatever they can to make that more uh, weighted, evenly distributed. And then also they'll be adding more requirements. So if you have any ideas for what other requirements that they could throw on here to make the power level go up, you know, through various ways, let me know in the comments. It'll be very interesting to see what sort of ideas you guys have. Uh, the other major thing is that the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Harutagran Dokkan Festival is confirmed to be coming to global April, 2024. Just as I had mentioned in my other video, this is going to be where the Yamcha was this year. And this will be following the Saiyan Day celebration. So the Saiyan Day celebration is yet to be determined. But I think, for the most part, we now pretty much have a clear roadmap on the first half of 2024. When I say first half, I mean everything leading up to the anniversary. Not in terms of what the banners are specifically, but in terms of the structures. So I think my video just retroactively became that much more informative because I pretty much laid it out exactly as it's going to be. These two will probably helm January. These two will most definitely be in February. And then in February, we will be getting more details on what is going to be coming up in terms of full synchro. They say right here, we'll share more details through in-game announcements next February. So actually, that's that's more about the power level stuff. Uh, then coming up in pre-Sand Day, that will be the Gohan Piccolo for us, most likely. JP will get their own Dokkan Festival. 
then Saiyan Day, then Global gets Super Saiyan 3 Harutagarn. The part two will probably be a filler banner, and then we'll go into Golden Week together, whatever that is with JP. Uh, part one, part two, and then pre nine year, whatever that ends up being. It'll probably be the Dokkan Festival that dropped pre Saiyan Day. I did make the prediction that it would also be a joint Dokkan Festival with another one to kind of push, you know, the, the agenda of getting everything in sync by the time Worldwide hits. That may or may not be in question at this point, but we don't really have to worry about that right now. But nine year anniversary is confirmed to be separate. That is the third and uh, final point that I want to make sure everybody is aware of here. So uh, if you were one of those people who had the theory or who was clinging onto the hope that nine year anniversary would be joint, you can now put that to rest because it has officially been debunked. There will not be a nine year anniversary at the same time. At the very least, the next earliest and most possible destination point would be worldwide. And uh, yeah, get ready to keep looking at this annoying chart for some time. This is not going to change, but I think the longer it takes for them to give us more concrete information, the more and more likely it seems like 10 year is going to be when we get into full synchro, which simply begs the question, why mention this so early? Uh, but then again, that's kind of how they did project version Z. They drew that out over time. I think they just want to remind people of the fact that they're doing this and they want to kind of garner more, I guess, goodwill from the community because they are working towards this. We're not developers. We don't know what it takes to kind of do this sort of thing. And based on the simple fact that we've had all of our different speculations and theories as to how that they would coordinate this kind of just speaks to how, I guess, gargantuan of an undertaking this is going to be, I guess. I don't know. So until uh, until further notice, I guess either assume worldwide nine year or 10th anniversary. 10th anniversary probably seems like the most likely, especially since it's aligned over here. But yeah, that's pretty interesting. I mean, look, at least we got something. We got some information. So when it comes to the global experience, expect things to be a little bit on the slower side in terms of summons. If you are interested in summoning, you know, maybe consider watching showcases first. Consider watching my summons before you go into summon because some of these units might just not be what you need right now. So, you know, don't feel like you have to summon for the sake of summoning. The more you save, the more you will be ready for not only the nine year anniversary, whatever that ends up being, but it will allow you to actually be able to enjoy the joint celebrations that we do have. Think about it from that perspective. If you don't summon on any of these banners and you still do want to summon, you could summon on Saiyan Day, you could summon during Golden Week, and then you could summon during the nine year anniversary, leaving behind whatever Dokkan festivals happen in between. We still don't know what the new JP Dokkan festivals will be, whether they are good or not, that pretty much still gives you a decent amount of summoning to do. That's three summons in the first half of the year. Saiyan Day, Golden Week, and Nine Year. And then, very soon after, we go into the worldwide download. And as you guys have seen from this year, it can be a very exhausting grind summoning back to back to back to back. So it's better on you to save more early. So that way, if you do find yourself starting to, you know, dip your toes into more frequent banners, you will be a little bit more ready because you will have more stones in reserve. So there you have it, folks. The slate for 2024 has been soft confirmed. Are we happy or are we not? Is the big talk of the town now about chain battle or is it about the, the nine year global anniversary schedule? Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and reactions to this news drop that we received from Omatsu. Are you happy? Are you sad about the fact that we are having separate anniversaries? I think that would probably mean good things for those of you who are low spenders because you got more time to save. What is your next few months of Dokkan going to look like in terms of summons? Non-existent? Which banner are you going to be going in for? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let you know I'm going to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll to Dokkan responsibly.